Tee. 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 <laughs> Starting with a pun. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am currently in a new setting with my friend Connie. Connie, where are we right now? Hey guys, we are in my house in the middle of the British countryside. The British countryside, because after last week's video, I just wanted to take a break, so we came out in the middle of nowhere to hang out with Connie for a bit. Now, DFS recently reached out to me, and if you didn't know, DFS is actually the official homework partner of Team GP in the Olympics this year, and they wanted me to make some type of cool Olympics video. So I thought, what better way to do that than make my own version, the British Olympics. The British Olympics. What do you mean there's no cricket? Connie, what defines a British person in your eyes? Oh, okay. What? Oh, yeah. this is fun. Politeness. Politeness, okay. But also, annoyance. Annoyance, okay. General annoyance at anything from the weather. It's like a communal annoyance. Okay. Yeah. Like once one person gets annoyed. Yeah, we can all be like irritated about it being too hot or it being too, too rainy. Cold. Yes, exactly. There's never a, yeah. like today is actually a perfect day. In yeah, my today opinion. is lovely, but I'm sure there's something I can find to moan about. <laughs> I am. It's why is it so lovely today? It yeah. could have been lovely yesterday. Should we start with a ex competitive politeness? Oh, okay. I'm gonna pull up a picture, and I want you to come up with the nicest compliment you can. About I love complimenting people! Oh okay, my gosh, this is a game made for me. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. <gasps> she looks like an ethereal angel child. <laughs> Her eyebrows are nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I like, definitely won that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, my brain just broke and I was like... <laughs> Her eyebrows look very, very good, nice. and that that's I was better. stunned by the eyebrows, and that's yeah. all that happens was poof, eyebrows. There we go, that was better. That and was you could good. have said, I was so stunned by the photo that all I could concentrate on were her amazing eyebrows. I could have, but she won that round. <laughs> <You> compliment him. <laughs> what a cute little angelic baby! Oh, oh my look God! at his little smile! Awesome. Okay, Troy Sivan has the face of a boy that I wouldn't mind my boy marrying and living with for the rest of his life. That was really cute. Oh. I kind of just got, I was surprised when it was a gif. I was, I was expecting as well. the little smile. He just started smiling. It threw me off. Looks lovely. Oh, I win this round. I think you won I win this round. round. That was really sweet. I just keep getting stuck in angel. We have tea and it's really hard for me not to just drink the just tea. Drink it's the like tea. A, a British instinct. I need to compliment this person. I, <laughs> I thought it was you. <laughs> what? I had like a brief moment where I looked and I was like, it would be like if I got a photo of so well or up and showed it to you. I mean... That was a trick. That was I've a trick. Tricked. I, I, I showed you a picture of another white male with a quiff and glasses. Okay. The highest compliments. Jack Howard is a very beautiful man. And so are you. Thank you. I think we're going to go with a tie for that. Okay. Next up, I'm glad we saved our tea because we are going to do competitive biscuit dump dumping. <laughs> Just dump them. <laughs> We're gonna do competitive biscuit dunking. Now, what is your favorite British biscuit? Oh, a Tunnock's tea cake. I... Are they Scottish? The little ones with the... With the, with the marshmallow in the middle? Yes. yes. Oh my God, those are so good. I've only had them once and it was like, it reminded me of The Hobbit. Like I felt like that's like seed cakes and rock cakes. And really that's what... Good. So mine are actually very simple and they are just milk chocolate digestives. Mm -hmm. The fact that when you dip it in for the exactly perfect amount of time, it just lightly melts the chocolate, you put it on upside down, tongue, heaven. It is pretty good. Now, the way that we're going to win this contest, right, is to see how long we can dunk this biscuit in the tea and pull it out and put it in our mouths before it breaks off into the tea. Okay. Don't lose any. Okay. okay. Best of three. Go. Okay, this is when I would optimally pull it out. Please don't. Oh, wait, wait. Huh? Oh, I'm on. I win. <laughs> oh, 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 no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is riveting entertainment. Mm -hmm. You can see he's swirling his biscuits around the teacup. Oh, right around the bend there. A little washing machine action. Left, right, left, right. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I can feel it pulling. Oh. <laughs> what? Why are you so good at this? <laughs> I practice quite daily. No one really loses with this because you get to eat delicious biscuits. True. Except that you lost. I have now got a gold star. <laughs> also, is it rude to slurp your tea? 
Well, it's no. debatable because I personally don't mind. Mm -hmm. And I am partial to a tea slurp. I'm okay with tea slurping. That tea slurping, you have to be doing it on purpose. It's too annoying. Same, I lived with someone that was like that. And she would yell at me for slurping. Was it Dodie? No, no, it was not Dodie. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Never do I'm that. making music! <laughs> Stop your slurping! No, I always slurped because it's too hot and I burn my mouth. What was that evil witch voice? <laughs> That's like Dodie in my head subconsciously. She's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, Dodie. Now, as an American, I didn't get the chance to play this supposedly very fun game mm -hmm. because there aren't any pubs where I'm from. But Connie, can you explain the game Flip yes, It, please? I can explain. This was a favorite when I occasionally would go to my village pub. The village pub, which mm -hmm. I was just at, by the way. Just yeah, do you like it? Lovely little place. You have your Great Brits game on. Gotta get a coaster. Yeah, your little coasters. And you put it on the edge of the table. All right. Let's see if I can do this first time. I'm really scared about knocking your tea over. Okay. Don't knock my tea over. And basically the idea is you want to flip it up and you have to grab it in this action in the air. So I guess we'll do best of three. So this is what you want to do. Except don't that. fail. Except, except you want to grab it. Okay. <laughs> Have any of you ever, ever played this before? Like I've never, I never heard of it before this week. Uh, but we each get three. We're trying not to dump over the tea here. Stack on the deck. Okay. Game on. Three. Ready? Two, one. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Woo! No! Okay. <laughs> It's one to one, we have to go again. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Yes. A gold star for you. Okay. Next up is a game that I think is absolutely British. Okay. Competitive scoffing. Okay, someone has just cut in front of you in the queue for Tesco. Okay. okay. <sighs> so I have to be I have to scoff. So I'm annoyed but I don't want to actually don't, say no, no, you can't. or have any form of confrontation. Ex as, exactly. Uh, you're at Victoria Station. You're trying to uh, you know, get off the train and then tourists just flood on, you know, even though you're, they're supposed to wait. You know, so. Or if somebody is standing on the wrong side of the escalator. Oh, and you have to try and, and like loudly but politely go. <clears throat> <clears throat> or turn around to the person next to you and be like, it's so annoying when people don't realize that you're not supposed to stand on that side of the escalator. <laughs> Okay, so we've both been very guilty of this. I think it's yes. definitely gonna come down to the final game then, since we were one for one. I'm looking at them right now. We have here, Jam Donuts. In primary school in mm -hmm. England. What is it called? The Donut Game? It doesn't game? really have a name. It's just, yeah, just the Donut Game. You do not know the game name. There is no... <laughs> for all of my fellow British primary school children, do you remember the game in which you are given a Jam Donut that is a donut that has jam on the inside Jelly. and sugary. <laughs> How dare you? Get out of my country. <laughs> yes, it has jam on the inside, Jelly, and it's got icing sugar or just sugar on the outside, and you have to eat the whole donut without licking your lips. Okay, okay. cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. You gotta get your lips on it, mate. Whoa. <laughs> I have a big mouth. Oh my gosh, you're totally cheating. You need to get your lips on the donut. Classic American. <laughs> you're having another one. And this time, you're going to tenderly kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. it's on your lip. You look like a mess. I'm assuming I look like a mess. Oh, this is so uncomfortable! This is how I eat normally. How is this like <laughs> I really, really am struggling. This is the most American game I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You finished it, man. You can lick your lips. Are you sure? Am I allowed to lick as it drips down my chin? <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> All of my self-esteem going with this gem donut down my face. I win the Olympics! You win. The British Olympics. Yeah, I can't believe that was the game. 
that we would do in the British Olympics. Yeah. It was uh, definitely a lot less civilized than I expected. If we had a lot more time, do I have something on my face? <laughs> you have a little hair. Uh, if we had a bit more time, I might have done like a who can cook the best uh, British, like great English breakfast or roast dinner. Okay, well we already know that I cook the best I would English lose. breakfast in the world. Yeah. I mean, I, I would vote for you. I think you did a really good job. Thank you. I'm but just I trying so hard to be British. I think you might have been practicing before we arrived. Yes, 25 years <laughs> in America of eating donuts without wiping my face. That's just how I eat them. So as winner of the British Olympics, I'd like to say thank you to DFS for sponsoring this video and helping me come up with the idea of the British Olympics. So if you didn't know this, DFS is actually doing this pretty cool thing at the Olympics this year where they're hanging out with all the Olympians on Team GB and they're just kind of chilling out, playing fun games like the Flip It game we just played, which I believe you could play at home. I mean, it's a pretty easy yeah, fun game. Yeah, it's easy, as long as you have coasters. Or just go to a pub and try not get, to get kicked out while flipping the coasters around. But if you want to check out all the cool stuff that DFS is doing with the Olympians for Great Brits Game On, be sure to check out the link in the description to their YouTube channel where they're uploading videos during the length of the Olympics. Also, by the way, be sure to check out Connie's channel where, what do you do over there? I have a good time. She has a good time. <laughs> so if you want to have a good time, check out Great Brits Game On and check out Connie's channel and subscribe to me because I make videos every Sunday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, I'm like, I want to drink this, but I'm so bad at drinking tea when it's super hot. Like, I'm never going to drink this. It's not very hot anymore. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. I like... Watching I... you do that, you were like, did you have one of the Teletubbies? No. They had like a vacuum in it, and he was like... I'm a vacuum. You'd like, set things up. So it was like... I'm the tea vacuum. That's, that's who I am. Where I'm from, we played a game called Washers, where you like... Do you know what a washer is? Hmm? Like, they're little... Yeah, when you're aboard? No, like, they're, um... Imagine, like, a metal donut. <laughs> that landed on my back. You Was that competitive tea dumping? <laughs> dumping. So, oh no, you got it on my glasses. But if you want to do, if you want to do, ding do ding do ding, 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 ding. But if you want to check out the Olympics, you should do it today. He's not allowed. I could be allowed if I wanted to be. You could be allowed if you wanted to. Who needs stuff? Gender roles. When you've got donuts. Who needs gender roles when you've got gender donuts? Because... <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst one. <laughs>